Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we'll be diving into the Doors and Oxygen System display page. Now, to display any SD page onto the eCAM, we must use the eCAM control panel. And to display the Doors and Oxygen SD page, we can go ahead and press the Door Push button. Let's go through each part of the SD page one by one. For this particular tutorial, we will be focusing on a standard A320 variant. Other variants, such as the A321, have slightly different SD page indications due to their layout. First off is the cockpit oxygen indication at the top of the page. This indication is normally displayed in white. It becomes amber when either the oxygen pressure is lower than the amber value or when the oxygen crew supply push button is switched off. Below this is the oxygen pressure indication. There is an indication for each side of the flight deck. This value is green when the pressure is within the normal operating range. It pulses green when the pressure is low, and it turns amber when the pressure reaches a dangerously low threshold. These values vary for different aircraft variants, so please consult your FCOM for the appropriate figures. Two amber crosses will replace these values when the pressure data is not available. An amber half box appears around the oxygen pressure indication when the oxygen pressure is below a certain threshold. Again, consult your FCOM. This can only be presented when the aircraft is in flight phases 1, 2, 9, or 10, and at least one of the flight warning computers are working correctly. The flight deck oxygen system for CEO aircraft consists of a single high-pressure oxygen cylinder located on the left-hand side of the lower fuselage with one pressure regulator connected directly to the cylinder that delivers oxygen. Two overpressure safety systems vent the oxygen overboard through a safety port if the pressure becomes too high. The oxygen crew supply push button controls a supply solenoid valve that allows the crew to shut off the distribution system. On NEO aircraft, there is twice the amount of oxygen equipment. There are two high pressure cylinders, two pressure regulators, four overpressure safety systems, and two supply solenoid valves. The oxygen system on NEO aircraft is split into two subsystems, one subsystem for the captain and a third occupant, and one subsystem for the first officer. The regulator low pressure indication is normally not displayed. It is displayed in amber when the oxygen mask pressure on the low pressure circuit is low. The value is normally displayed when below 50 PSI. This indication is transmitted by the SDAC. It can also appear when the oxygen crew supply push button is selected off. The cabin vertical speed indication is displayed on some aircraft variants below the oxygen pressure indications in flight phases 5, 6, and 7, i.e. when the aircraft is not on the ground. The value is normally displayed in green and pulses green when the value exceeds 1,800 feet per minute. It stops pulsing if the value drops below 1,600 feet per minute for a minimum of three seconds. It is replaced by two amber crosses when the value is not transmitted by the SDAC. The slide indication appears next to each aircraft door and exit when in the armed condition. When the doors are disarmed, the slide indications disappear. It turns amber with dashed lines to indicate the door is open. It is replaced by two amber crosses when the door status is not transmitted by the SDAC. For the cargo doors, similar principles to the cabin doors apply, except the door status is now transmitted by the landing gear control and interface unit, the LGCIU, not by the SDAC. The door symbol outline is green when the door is closed, the door locking handle is locked and the door safety mechanism is safe. The door symbol turns amber in the following situations. When it is open, either due to the door locking handle being unlocked or the safety mechanism being unsafe, or when a cargo door sensor has an electrical fault. 
the door symbol is replaced by one amber cross when the door status is not transmitted by the LGCIU or when LGCIU-1's landing gear door sensors have an electrical fault. The bulk cargo door has a unique bulk indication that appears when it is opened. It is smaller than the other cargo door indications to distinguish itself. There are four avionics bay access doors, and they are all displayed on the door's SD page. They are smaller than the other door indications to distinguish themselves. They all follow the same principles as the cargo doors. The avionics doors are outlined green when closed, and they turn amber when opened. The symbol is replaced by one amber cross when its status is not transmitted by the s stack. Thanks for tuning into this tutorial on the Doors and Oxygen System Display page.